From the pristine beaches of Boraki to the lush green terraces of Panawi, the Philippines is a treasure of natural wonders. Vibrant cities, the mouth-watering street food, and the stories from each corner make this archipelago unique. Moreover, the Philippines holds a special place in prehistory for significant fossil discoveries. The country's rich geological history has unveiled secrets of ancient life forms, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the already captivating destination. Highlands provide amazing examples of evolution and have inspired biologists from the beginning. Nonetheless, little is known about island dwarfism, which refers to evolution of miniature versions of mainland animals. But the hominins are also subject to this insular dwarfing to the same degree as other taxa is still a matter of debate and possible examples include Homo floresiensis from Indonesia and Homo luzonensis from the Philippines. Until the early 2000s, the oldest evidence of humans in the Philippines was a human frontal bone found in Tibon Cave on Palawan Island dated to about 16.5 thousand years ago. Later discoveries pushed back the presence of modern humans in the Philippines to around 47 thousand years ago. In 2007, a foot bone found in Kelao Cave in northern Luzon was dated to at least 66 thousand seven hundred years ago, making it the oldest evidence of Homo species in the archipelago. Initially, this bone was thought to belong to a small modern human, but its unusual features raised questions. In 2014, evidence of battery activities on a rhinoceros dating back to 79,000 years ago led to further questions about early inhabitants of the Philippines. It is suggested that the land bridges between the Sunda Shelf of Indonesia and Palawan might have allowed early exchanges of fauna, including hominins during the Middle Pleistocene glaciations. However, such land bridges likely did not exist during the Late Pleistocene. It's highly probable that at least two different species of hominins arrived in the Philippines. One during the Late Early to Early Middle Pleistocene possibly related to Homo erectus or Homo floresiensis and another dispersal by modern humans during the late Pleistocene. In the Kelao Cave in the Philippines between 2011 and 2015, researchers discovered 12 human remains. Based on unique craniodental attributes, the remains have been assigned to a new species called Homo luzonensis. The species has been described based on a set of dental and postcranial elements found at Kalau Cave and dated to at least 50 to 67 thousand years ago. Seven post-canine maxillary teeth are attributed to this taxon, five of them belonging to the same individual CCH6 and representing the holotype of Homo luzonensis. Homo luzonensis exhibits a unique set of anatomical features, setting it apart from other hominins in the genus. Let's discuss some of the key anatomical features of Homo luzonensis. The molar teeth of Homo luzonensis are notably small and more flattened from front to back as compared to other hominin species. The occlusal surface, the surface that comes in contact with upper teeth of these molars is simplified with fewer cusps. Homo luzonensis displays an unusual pattern in the size ratio between premolars and molars. The premolars are noticeably large relative to the molars, a feature not typically seen in other Homo species. This pattern is even more pronounced than in Homo floresiensis and differs from other hominins except for Pharanthropus. Additionally, the premolars have multiple robust and divergent roots. The hand and foot bones of Homo luzonensis, such as fingers and toe bones, had curved and compressed shapes, similar to Australopithecus and Homo floresiensis. These features suggest a combination of adaptations for both bipedalism and climbing or suspension, similar to what is observed in great apes and early human ancestors. Researchers used cement lines in the teeth of Homo luzonensis to estimate the age at death. The cement lines correspond to yearly growth, so they provide a way to determine how old the individual was when they died. 
They suggested that their dental development pattern was more similar to chimpanzees than modern humans. This implies that Homo leucinensis might have had a faster development compared to us. Using this information, the estimated age at death for the type specimen of Homo leucinensis is around 31 years. However, considering some uncertainty and potential variations, it could be a few years older. Research suggested that Homo leucinensis may have had small brain size similar to Homo floresiensis and that their life expectancy might have been relatively short similar to Mesolithic modern humans. The exact origin and relationship of Homo leucinensis with other hominins in Eastern Asia such as Denisovians, Homo sapiens, Homo floresiensis and Homo erectus is uncertain. Attempts to extract DNA from these fossils have not been successful. However, it's clear that Homo leucinensis and Homo floresiensis coexisted in Luzon and Flores respectively and share some anatomical traits that are rare or absent in other Homo species. Homo floresiensis was found on Flores Island and dated to around 700,000 years ago. Some postcranial hand and foot bones of both Homo floresiensis and Homo leucinensis exhibit early Homo such as Homo habilis or rodolfensis like or australopithecus like features suggesting an early origin of these species. Earlier it was thought that leucinensis has premolars that are both large in size and have some primitive crown and root features, similar to early hominins like Australopithecus and Paranthropus. However, its molars are extremely small and share external features with modern humans and, to some extent, Homo floresiensis and Asian Homo erectus. The distinct anatomy of Homo leucinensis could be a result of evolutionary convergences or reversals driven by insular evolution. Luzon, like Flores, required a sea crossing even during periods of lower sea levels. The isolation of these islands may have led to unique adaptations and anatomical features in these hominids. A recent study suggests that Luzonensis' external crown morphology aligns more with Indonesian Homo erectus than with Homo habilis or Homo rudolfensis. The internal structural organization of Homo Luzonensis' teeth exhibits some affinities with that of Homo erectus and Homo floresiensis than with Neanderthals and modern humans. This suggests that these species may have evolved from Asian Homo erectus groups. Altogether, the analysis of external and internal tooth structural organization of Homo leucinensis teeth supports the validity of this taxon. Distinguished from African early Homo, Homo erectus, Homo floresiensis, Neanderthals and modern humans. These results confirm the taxonomic diversity of Pleistocene hominins in insular Southeast Asia and the role of insular environment in the spatiation of Homo. They suggest that both Homo floresiensis and Homo leucinensis likely evolved from some Asian Homo erectus groups that dispersed in various islands of this region and became isolated until endemic spatiation events occurred. Thank you for watching.